We are here with Mr. Faulty DL from NY. <laughs> May I compose myself? Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Sure, you can say it however you want, or whatever fashion you choose. No, I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> How's it going, man? Pretty good. Good. Yeah. First time in Montreal, or? Uh, no, second. Actually, I was just here about a month ago. Okay. I started producing in about 2005, okay. and then I got pretty serious about it in 2007, okay. and then started releasing records like the next year. Okay. Um, the DJing and the touring stuff has only been about the last year and a half or something. I think if, if it were up to me I would love to just produce and yeah. play like a few select shows a year on like like for instance tonight is an amazing show yeah. a huge club you know I get to play with yeah. Jacques Green and and Surismo and Amsterdam and most selectors and stuff. To solo line up tonight. Yeah to do that a few times a year and to mostly be producing and if record sales were amazing like they were 20 years ago or whatever <laughs> yeah. then maybe that would be possible but uh I, I do need to get out there more often um it seems like a, a daunting task to go on tour, but when I get into it, it always sort of uh, bec just becomes a lot easier to do. What do you have prepared for tonight? I won't really know until it begins. Okay. I mean, it's funny, I, I think I'm playing just under an hour, okay. which is on the shorter side of, of, of the sets that I'm used to playing. Okay. So it's kind so, of like time attack kind of. Well, that's, yeah, but I don't want to do that too much because okay. I think that can be a little too abrasive yeah. to the crowd sometimes. So. It'll actually be a good gauge. If I'm letting the mixes go out a little bit longer, it'll mean I'm relaxed up there. Okay. If I'm mixing too quickly, it'll mean I'm just trying to play too much. Yeah. How did the album get good reviews? Uh, yeah. So far, it's yeah. I think it's been really it's been really well received, um, which is an honor, of course. I think it's I don't know if it's luck or what it is, but I mean it's, it's been pretty great the reviews yeah. and stuff. But uh, no, I worked really hard at it. It's always weird, like once I'm done and I've sort of sent it off to the label and it's been put out there, it's out of my hands and I'm sort of out of control. Okay. What do you think you could you're bringing to the table tonight? that other DJs are not uh, not doing exactly. I'm gonna try and keep, just keep the beat moving and like get people dancing and stuff and not mess around with it too much okay. and we'll see what happens. So I, so that's not to say that the other guys aren't gonna do that as yeah, well, yeah, yeah. but I know Jacques Green is gonna play live tonight on like a, I think he's got a 909 and a couple sets. Did you know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, he, I have no idea what to expect from his set. I, I'm sure it'll be wonderful. I don't know, we'll see uh, where I get. If that's the thing too, if I start slow, it's hard to end on Jungle within an hour without, yeah. without going too fast, but uh, I think it's been mostly a live, a live uh, lineup. The artists are mostly playing live and stuff, and I am playing in Ableton Live. Okay. But I also have the ability to DJ a lot of other people's tracks in Ableton as well. Indecent Exposure, that's where it's at. 